My name is Jane, and this is the Versus Nursing Band. Obviously, you know that. Um, how are you? Really, 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 how are you? Are you okay? You've been doing well? Anyway, I just want to say Happy New Year once again, and don't stress yourself. The year, hopefully, is going to be a good one for all of us. Um, amazing things going to happen to every, for everyone. And I want to say congratulations in advance to those that are going to be writing their OSCEs and those that are already passed, congratulations. So today I just want to bring something to our attention. And I'm going to talk about the new rules that are coming in in the spring of 2024. So um, the new rule about bringing dependents and not bringing your dependents in 2024. What are these? What are they, what are they saying? If we all know as well, we all know that the UK government is bringing a change wherein if you're coming to the UK, you might not be able to come in with your dependent. And that rule is supposed to come in in the spring of 2024 this year, you know, at some point later this year. So if you go to the um, Home Office website, there are a lot of guidance there so many things anyway that um you need to um read that you need to understand but i've gone to um the nhs uk website and they have had they have a coincise guidelines of what to expect so i'm going to explain it this way we have the senior carers and carers route and we have the nhs and the private companies so what do I mean by the private companies? Like people, like I can just open up a company and a care company and then get a sponsorship and be bringing people in. That's a private company. It's not with the NHS. And we know that NHS is National Health Service. It's like I would say like the General Hospital of the UK or the Government Hospital of the UK. <laughs> that is what it is. Um so that's the two different thing the point i say the private company so that's what i'm referring to and then the nhs that is the government owned establishment health establishment now what we're talking about is when you're coming through as a carer and through the private route a senior carer through the private route which is the non-nhs route usually when you're giving your course your cos certificate of sponsorship to go and apply for your visa the code you have there because there's code check properly there are different codes for all of these um categories so for the private company the codes that you find it likely be 6145 or 6146 that's the code and it shows that you're coming for your uh, as a healthcare assistant um senior carers and carer all right and and then if you're coming through the route of the nhs the code you're going to be getting is 6141 so all the healthcare professionals coming through the nhs 6141 on the nhs uk's um site it has now explained that if you're coming through the nhs you will be exempt from the new rules that are supposed to come in the spring of 2024 this new rules which states that you cannot come in with your dependents so who are your dependents your dependents your wife or husband so your spouse your partner and your children the number of children you have doesn't matter so this that's are the people that you'll be coming with the government is now has now made this rule that if you have um these visas on this code through this route you will not be able to come in with your dependent as from the spring of 2024. The spring of 2024, honestly, the spring of 2024. So what do you do now? What do you think should be done? I believe if you have your family back home, your home country, Ghana, Congo, Nigeria, wherever they are, South Africa, Zimbabwe, 
I think it's all right now. The wise thing to do is to try and make sure they come in before then. Try as much as you can to bring them in before then. Otherwise, after that, you will not be able to. Even if you are in the UK already, you cannot after the spring of 2024 when these new rules come into place. And I want to say, oh, I hope they change their mind, but it's unlikely that they will change their mind. But we never can say. That's the thing with the immigration processes. It's, um, um, it's unpredictable. So once rules come out, if you need to act at that time, you act at that time just to avoid any unforeseen circumstances. That's what I believe. But obviously, I'm not an immigration officer or anything like that. I'm just giving advice from what I have read. So if you need more information, you could meet an immigration officer. You could also read for yourself. But this is um, a summary of what I have read, um, and I'm just passing it across to you. And you know, even the um, uh, fees, the IHS fees might be going up because it's quite a lot. And if you're from the NHS, I think you're exempt. Um, I'll still read more and then bring more information on that. But for now, I just wanted to pass this info across so we can make hay while the sun shines. I'll just summarize what I've just said. NHS, private company, private company, not exempt. NHS, exempt. And when you're giving your visa, what do you will COS rather to go and get your visa? You check to make sure what code that you have. And for the private companies, senior care carers, you're getting 6145 and 6146. While NHS code says it's 6141. I think that's clear enough. I'll that's all. I hope um I wish everyone all the very best in your jackpot endeavor thank you for watching please um thank you for staying up to this time just subscribe and like share and yeah comment actually ask questions i know i've had loads of questions from before i'm just going to come back through the questions i've been asked and then do videos on that when i was off for a while like in my previous video i told you that i was I think the last time I posted, apart from last week, was maybe sometime mid last year. A lot of things came into place, but I'm here now. I'm back. And yeah, that is it. And I just want to say, well, I'm back. That is it. All right. Take care. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.